Greetings, I'm Caffeine Rich, and I'm back with more of Divinity Original Sin, and joining me, the Mix Master himself, is... Gaming Psychologist. <laughs> yeah, in between everything, we were talking... Well, one of the things was uh, how he mixes Sprite with everything. Or um, everything with Sprite. I think it's the other way to... Uh, it's the proper way to say it. Sprite is just a vehicle for other flavors. Oh, my... Anyway, right. uh, we have level ups to do before we get going. Correct. And yeah, we figured these out off screen, but we're actually going to do yeah. it on screen. Yeah, and at least talk about it. Uh, for Medora, strength, and that allows her to, well, one, it gives her even more offensive rating. Does she say fuck more now? Or is this like racially offensive? Uh, it, it's it's very. Uh, she likes to trigger people. <laughs> she, she's banned from Tumblr on at least half a dozen different accounts, especially because she is wielding. As soon as I found it in uh, her absolute mess of an inventory, she has six different no no eight different helmets. <laughs> she likes to be fashionable. But she's. But let's see what this looks like. The Sword of Holy Flame. That looks pretty badass. I was hoping that the flame was a little bit more over the entire blade, but okay, we'll go with that. Just the tip. Oh my. Uh, the, uh, the downside of this, well, one, she's losing a little bit of speed, so her. Let's see. Uh, where is her action, action points? She gets. She starts with an eight and uh, gets seven per turn, but with the other one, uh, actually, it doesn't go over the threshold, so it doesn't change that. But the downside to this is that it's going to cost her five AP to attack now, and for at least till level thirteen when she reaches the level that this sword actually is. She has to get on this sword's level. Yeah. And also, it puts her at 1,240 health. It's not too shabby. That's a double your health <laughs> and my health. It's not quite double Bayer's health, but close. Yeah, and I think we're going to go with uh, Mana Arms uh, uh, 5 to give her... Uh, well, the ability to get um, two master skills when she gets a level, but also she has a skill that increases, if I recall correctly, her talents. I'm crawling like a rot here. Oh, quiet bear. Uh, she uh, gets a picture of health. Uh, yeah. Uh, she's going to get even more health with mana arms because it gives you 3% times the mana arms. Uh, an extra vitality. Nice. So it just seems like a good idea overall. Yeah, she gets another 30 health. <laughs> and she still no. has two left over. Too shabby. All right. Well, since you did Medora first, I'll do Bear first. This one's pretty straightforward. Put my um, stat point into Dexterity. That way, Farseer now no longer fails. Plus, it gives additional bow damage, right? Or it affects... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Offens affects my offensive rating, so that'll go up. And then for my abilities, uh, I have five points, and I'm going to max out my bow skill for that extra damage. So my damage is now 91 to 156. So, not great, not terrible. All right. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and equip this bow that you gave me. Okay, well that's It'll gonna be... uh, cause you to uh, take five AP to attack. Heels are really dragging here. Because it was a level 13 bow, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But it's... How much more damage is that? Let me swap them back out. 
Uh, it's 70 more to my max damage and damn about 435 40 more to my minimum damage yeah, i haven't put a lot of points into bows maybe that's something i should do so i mean i'll, I'll still have the other bow and if i find out that having that uh less all right taking one more ap is uh bad then i'll swap them back out but okay well for me, I'm it's gonna, a pretty big I'm, boost. For me, I'm going to go... Let's see if speed does anything. It may not, though. It gives me more initiative. I was hoping that it would give me more AP, but it looks like... Uh, let's see. Seven. Speed AP regeneration per turn. Yeah, well, uh, but it has thresholds. That's the thing. Yeah. So it looks like it's... Like I'm not at a threshold for it. But it's probably not a bad idea because it still gives me that initiative. So I'll go for that anyway. And maybe I should go for bow and bank the last one. Uh, that This is a tough choice, actually. Uh, I, well, I, we talked about it, and one thing I'm going to do once we get back into town is spend one point into water skills to be a backup healer. Because even your low-level water skills are worthwhile still, right? Yeah, I mean, oh, well, the level healing. one... Your level one healing. Yeah, because level one gives you the regeneration spell, which is the heal over time. Yeah, but is, uh, can you take a look at that for me for real quick and tell me if it factors in your intelligence for casting? Uh, the strength of it? Uh... No, it does not. All right, so it's probably just the percentage chance to for it to cast it. I'll, I'll, I'll I'm gonna hold on to my action points or my attribute points for now, and just uh, spin one on speed. Make myself a little faster. Yeah, yeah. And I think we're done with level ups. Well, I have to do mine. Ah. Um. So I'm going to bump my speed up from 8 to 9 so that I gain 8 AP per turn. Um, I mean, I'm constantly down on AP because of my spells yeah. cost so much. So that one was a no-brainer. And then for my abilities, I'm going to bank all of my points. I only have three. I have a couple things I could do with it, but I want to check out the um, the next level of or some more of the Hydra's Office spells to determine whether or not I want to bump mine up to level 2. Um, and then I could put it into wands or dual wielding, but I think I'm just going to hold on to it because I might just bank it for next time so that I can get my pyrokinetics to level five. Yeah. So, uh, how much do you want to bet that we're going to have one hell of a boss fight coming up? Probably, probably a lot. So, uh, quick save. Yep. Lock in our set or our levels, and uh, I guess I'm gonna run up to him and have a talkie talkie. Y'all set? Yep, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! There thou art, the upstart that seeketh to upset All right, the I'm listening. of Heiderheim. Why this is Harmony? Avatar of man? Avatar of Man? I like that. Do I need to get an arrow now? <laughs> I, I, I like my options here. I guess I just hate snow, or I've come to in search of the elusive white witch. How is she elusive? <laughs> I know precisely where she is. So thou seeketh but another human, a worm of no import. But though thou tramplest through my realm, and besiegest my fortress, thou shalt not have her! So tell me, Bra Braulis, what is it that you've done to this realm of fairy? Fairy! I have marcheth to the gallows! High behind drawn forth from freeze and frost! 
How they mock at me, my brother seasons. I can't imagine why they mock at you. They say it to my frozen face. Thou art the blemish of the year. Fool that thou art, my brothers. Winter is the jewel of the seasons. And now it is the ruler of time and heim. Heim or heim. Uh, really? You, you went kind there. Of, yeah. Kind of menacing. I, I, I was more uh, aggroting at the pun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what can I say? That pun just leaves me feeling a little cold. <laughs> and also, uh, uh, why does everybody hate winter? I mean, there's no pollen out, so, you know... Uh, the sciences are nice and clear. I mean, grand, you know, the chapped lips, but yeah. Tis easy when thou hast but to wish upon a well, and the generous pit delivereth unto thee the power of chaos. It doth whisper, the demon straight into my wintry wit, and a woman he sendeth forth into the fields of fairy. You dipshit. The stone of stars, no more doth she ask of me. The stone and blood of imps. In return, she giveth unto me this staff. My siblings enslaved within. Well, uh, well, that answers that question, huh? Yep. He's a dumbass. <laughs> Strong are they, these are maculates. Stronger than thee. Okay, here we go. For thy wield the powers of darkest demons. I'm stronger than thee, I am too. The lord of all the seasons, the ruler of all the elements, the one king of eternal winter! Uh, he doesn't have anything for sale, does he? No, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't even <laughs> give the option. Okay. Hey, can I buy that staff off of you? <laughs> I have you a bit of- five gold pieces. I have a bit of string, uh, the spare button, and, uh, uh, M M Midori, d d do you still have uh, those random bolts that you found? No? Okay. Ah, enough of this. Fighting time. I, Avatar, I! Thou hast traveled far and delveth deep into the heart of winter. But yeah, we did. Thou shalt find thine end. Ice preserveth life and death. And in between the two, thou shalt spend the ages in frost encased. And here we go. Hey, and he gets to move first. That's not fair. Uh-oh. <laughs> An icy patch, my one weakness. <laughs> it's it's worse than kryptonite. Alright. That's a nice ice sculpture next to you. Oh, wait, that's bear. What are his resistances? I'm gonna say he uh melt him. Flash fire. Well that did healed that him. That healed, healed him. him? Yes that did. Oh boy. So you're gonna be entirely useless. And Medora's gonna be doing slight heals to him the entire time. But uh yeah, she's still gonna be knocking the ever living fuck out of him. Wait, did Bear get frozen? She did. Didn't you hear me comment? That's a lovely ice sculpture next to- Oh, that's Bear. Oh, no. I missed that. Somehow. And I'm gonna bank the rest of my points for now. Wolfie, get him. Immune to bleeding. Um, it's... He is getting healed ever so slightly whenever Wolfie is attacking. But... He, he did. Yeah. He took some damage. His health bar moved to sliver. Yeah, uh, 26 piercing damage, absorbed 10, and then uh, Wolf healed him for 8. And I'm not sure what's healing him. I still have one attack with the Wolf, that's why I stopped. But you see, uh, I'm, yeah. I only did 10 damage to him overall on that last attack. But that's Wolfie done. Get out of my way! 
Yeah, he everything is healing him. <laughs> that uh, got his attention. That so far has done the most to him. Yeah, defensive stance up. Oh no, more ice. <laughs> Well, there's something for you to fight. Oh, goody. And he just slowed Medora, which kind of just cancels out the haste. Freezing failed. Oh, good. Bear un... Froze. Yeah, and all the music's gone. Yeah, same for me, too. There's an ice elemental fragment here that is kind of uh, worrying. Hmm. To spider or not to spider? Is that even a question? It was not. Wahaha. <laughs> Look, it's icy hot. Kill him. That's not killing him. I may have to go after this ice elemental fragment. The thing I is melted that, all the ice with the fire. The, the problem is that it dances around so damn much, I'm not sure if I would be able to click on it properly. Since the wolf is hardly doing any damage to the king, though, it may not be a bad idea. Yeah, just see what it can do to the ice elemental. The, the, the problem Fragment. is just clicking on the fucking thing. Ooh. There we go. And that's it for wolfies. Let's see... I'm going to do a slight gamble with a, a, a spell. Some, uh, yeah, I think this... Oh, some, sorry. Uh, uh, just elemental armor. Yeah. I think this battle is going to come down to protect Medora. <laughs> yeah, really. That did a little bit, at least. Yeah, really. And I got three left. I'm going to bank. Spider. If you can poison uh, the king, then go for it. If not, then I say probably the ice elemental fragments. Medora's going to do whirlwind attack next turn, though. But see what I mean by it's a pain in the ass to target them? Yeah. All right, whirlwind should kill that fragment. Right. Assuming that she hits it, of course. Yeah. Yep. All right, and I'm just uh, gonna uh, leave that like that. She has uh, a uh, she has three AP left. So she wouldn't be able to attack anyway. Oh, the ice elemental's running. Good thing he missed on that second one. Freezing failed. Ah, I was hoping that could reach up there. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Might as well. All right. Who needs a heal? Uh, care to guess? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move up a little bit. 
into the spot where I melted the the ice. All right. Happiness. It is doing some damage. Yep. I mean, it's better than none. It does look like it's a percentage of his of the damage he's taking. All right, Spider Tom. What if I can weaken him? Weak. So your weak was too weak. <laughs> so it would seem. Well, if this is all there is to it, just surviving the occasional elemental shot. Shut, shut up. <laughs> you're you're going to jinx us. Yeah, he's probably got some other attack or a phase two or something. He, he is real ugly, though. I failed to apply lowered armor, unfortunately. Uh, can Bear shoot from there? Um, I don't know. I'll uh, still toss your far sight. Okay. Medora, you're up. Power stance. Swing away. Yeah. You do not piss off Medora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can shoot him from down here. I love Medora. I mean, Grand, uh, she, she would probably kill me if uh, she was fucking me, but still, it would be a, what a way to die, huh? It would be a fun way to die. You got that That's right. That's my snoo snoo. Into the fray once more. The, the game, uh, our plan is we heal Medora. <laughs> heal Medora. Yeah. Let's see. Puppiness is up next. Last turn with him, then uh, I guess I'll save up AP for the spider. Doesn't do anything. How many useful spells? Or not spells. Scrolls? I mean, uh, uh, the initial hit... Did it heal more than uh, what you did to him? Because that's actually something that I need to go back and look at. Hang on. Yeah, go look at the combat log. Yeah, I see no damage on the initial hit. It, sa it says, Shrink used Flare on King Boralus. Uh, King Boralus was healed for 44 vitality, and he was warmed. And, yeah, I don't see any damage done to him. He must have a hundred percent or more resistance to fire. Yeah. Let me take a look at my scrolls. See if I've got any useful scrolls. Let's see. Uh, on the on the slow current just now, a uh, uh, chance to resist slow was seventy three percent. So yeah. I could use a summon scroll. I can well, summon well, a skeletal well, let's see, warrior. Uh, let's see how badly off he is uh, on Medo uh, after Medora's turn. Just tank AP if you need to. May not be a terrible idea, right? Yeah, I might as well. Uh, I thought Puppy had one more turn. Oh well. Poor Puppy. You poisoned! Ooh! Poison! Oh, it does have lowered armor now. Go Spidey. Okay. Although, is he healing from the poison? I'm not sure. Nope, he took 70 poison damage. And he did not heal from it, according to the combat log. Pew, 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 pew. He did no healing on that. 
So, that was a good idea. All right, Medora has a 75% chance to hit an Empower Stance. I don't think I'll stay in that, though. Yeah. You get him, girl. And two AP left. I'll bank. Uh-oh. Upon the turrets of stars, I call I to burn my body. Well, this is bad. Oh, boy. But somehow familiar. Oh, Medora got it. An attack opportunity. <laughs> yeah, All this right, first. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say this seems very familiar. <laughs> Let's get out of the fire. Rain to spell uh, as soon as you get a, a turn. Yeah, and hope that actually puts this place out. I didn't even see the fire elemental. At least I can move without worrying about falling down now. Yeah. I feel like I've just had a long bath in yep. a cold lake. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, putting out some of it. Take that, bitch. See, obviously fire would be... And any healing that he got from the uh, fire, uh, Medora knocked off when he when she got the attack for opportunity. So uh, I think uh, we uh, paid off there. We're gonna have to deal with the fire elemental fragments up here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna heal myself. All right. With some delicious food. Yeah, I'm. Cause that's how this works, right? Mm-hmm. I just like uh, that you just ate an entire pizza. Yeah. Hang on, guys. Let me cram this pizza in. I've been carrying around it in my bag for months now. Yeah, and it's not even like a personal pizza. It's a large pizza, and you just roll it up like a burrito and eat it. <laughs> Done that before. <laughs> All right, Spidey. Let's see. Spin my camera around. Um, I guess I'll go for the flame elemental. Yeah. Yeah, Medora doesn't have her whirlwind up this time, though. We'll see what I, my options are. I do have Ricochet back up. That's probably not a terrible idea. No, you'll at least do some damage on the fire fragments. I'll I didn't kill that I'll, one that I damaged. I'll bounce it off King Viralis, though, so I don't misclick. I mean, it doesn't matter the initial one, right? No, I don't think so. Yep, he killed that one. Nearly killed the second one. Okay, but Dora has a couple turns, or like three turns left till the next whirlwind, so I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm. <laughs> I'm going to leave the fire... Or sh should I go after the fire elemental fragment? With Medora? Yeah. I think that's No, I just yeah. stick to King Boreas. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I... This is where uh, it taking 5 AP to attack uh, is hurting me. I have 4 <laughs> left. That's okay. Just bank him for next time. Yeah, I'm just seeing if there's anything I should use, but I'm not seeing anything. And here comes the fire elemental. You do not want to piss off Medora. That's a, probably a bad idea. Oh look, Medora or Bear's frozen again. Bear's yeah, frozen again. I'd prefer to drown uh, my sorrows with ale. Bear or sorry, Medora got slowed, so if you could haste her, it, it would be great. If not if you, but it's not that big a deal. Yeah, that ability's still on cooldown. Um 
See who needs health more. Probably you do. Yeah. Yeah, Bear's frozen, so she could hold off for a while. Avatar of Fire. Okay. Immunity to burning. Inflicts burning on contact. That may not have been a good idea. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I guess I'll go after the Fire Elemental. Or the Fragment, I guess, is the better option. Yeah, I'd finish off the Fragment first and then assuming turn on I the could, Fire Elemental. Assuming I could click on it. Uh, well, I only have one attack. All right, that's that one done. And unfortunately, that's all I got. I got two AP left. I'm seeing, I have, see, weak, blind, mutant, infected, bleeding, crippled, disease. So unfortunately, I can't get that slow off of Medora. And she has one turn left to fortified. I'm just looking here. Hmm. Fortified looks really cool. Absolution! Rage? Yeah, Medora's really pissed off now. <laughs> She's going for it. Hardcore. Well, th uh, that's a combo move that I've been thinking about was bless Medora to counteract the uh, hit reduction on Rage and then put her back into defensive stance to try to counteract the uh, lowered armor. See, I've been thinking about how to combo my characters together. <laughs> nice. Oh, freezing failed twice. Medora's too pissed off to be frozen. She's taking a beating, too. It's, uh, congratulations, you've almost gotten her to half health. <laughs> Problem is, she's going to lose her fortify next turn, which is going to drop her armor. And that rage is uh, gonna uh, yeah hurt her armor a bit more, but yeah. But you can see how bless and uh, 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 rage kind of bounces out, huh? Yeah. Good idea, huh? Great idea. All right, do a little bit of healing. All right. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna work on uh, the fire elemental uh, when it's my turn. Not sure if you have anything that you could do. Oh, you could do that. I'll, I'll kill Fire Elemental. All right. Don't worry about him. The unending darkness. All right, that's my entire turn. And that's my turn. By little. Well, Medora only gets one attack. But it was a good one. I probably uh, should have moved her out of defensive stance, but I couldn't even put her back into it. But still, it's overbalancing out. Yeah. And here comes the poison. Oh boy. Do not cast any fire right now. Nope. Wouldn't dream of it. 
See who got poisoned. Uh, you and Medora both. Yeah. And both of you are out of the range to heal or to do the to treat poison. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I'm going to give Medora Earth Absorption uh, on my next turn. So do not worry about Medora's poison, at least for now. Okay. Like I said, I've been, I've been thinking about this. <laughs> I can't really do anything else. I mean, I could... Nothing else useful, at least. So I'm just going to bank the rest of my AP. All right. Bless the seven, I am restored. And let me just cast a big fireball here. <laughs> Admit it. You're thinking about it. Just with all the poison down, just that huge I would explosion. Love, I would love to, but I don't want to... Reload? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to have to redo this. I mean, uh, she's not going to uh, get full earth absorption, but she is going to get her poison damage reduction uh, reduced. Yeah. Which, that's the main thing. Assuming I... Uh, see, oh, no, this is 100% uh, uh, casting. Uh, earth shield that absorbs earth damage until it breaks. Uh, oh, that's air resistance. And that's... Uh, or is that what poison is? And then that's po ah uh, okay I'm a little disappointed there. Oh well. So that's not gonna work. I'm thinking ricochet then. Go for it. If I cure poison on Medora, will she immediately get it back? I don't know. Even though she's standing in it, wouldn't she have to move to get it back? I'm not sure. I think Wolfie may not be a bad idea. Either that or uh, a Barrage. If, hang on, let's see if Barrage... No, Barrage has one more turn until it's back up. So I'm thinking Wolfie. Yeah. I think so too. I'm going to drop the spider. I think it comes off cooldown next turn. Yeah, Wolf got instantly poisoned, so it'd probably uh, re-poison. And, and that. Wolf does get a lot of attacks in, doesn't he? Yeah. He and the spider both get three on their first turn. Ah. Uh, can't do one more attack. I wish I could. Yeah, he's pretty close. Yeah. And Medora is still as... Medora is at pretty much my health now. <laughs> Or my max health. Or 68. Yeah, unfortunately I can't uh, drink a potion. I need one more AP to do that. So that's Medora's turn. A miss. I was trying to petrify her. Everything's attacking. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> Wolfie is successfully uh, playing decoy now. Uh, and Wolfie got petrified. Oh, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> so close. Uh, who did she just freeze? Did he just freeze the wolf? I think so. Because I saw Frozen come up, but I don't... S no, no, it got the, uh, the Earth Elemental Fragment. I think. I didn't see the Earth Elemental Fragment die.
Anyway, uh, any healing on the door would be great. Uh, if not, then I'll just do her ability. Oh, there he goes. All right, still have to kill the elementals, but yeah, this oh, fight is oh much boy. easier there, now. There's a air wand that, that's probably going to make you very happy. Ooh, unidentified sturdy elven air wand. Okay, and there's poison's gone. Uh, I would say immediately safe. Because with all the poison around here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I still apparently. Yeah, so, um. Uh, do not stand in front of Medora right now. Okay, well, and I fall flat on my ass. I was more just flashing to try to clear out to the loot to get that. And I'll, yeah, once we get the loot, I'll blow up the rest of the poison. Sigurd's beard, what a fight! Oh, the man. Uh, I guess uh, you immediately pick up the uh, elemental staff. Holy shit! <laughs> and water absorption. Uh, sc uh skill book. Enchant an ally with a water shield. A water shield absorbs water damage until it breaks. If you're not gonna grab, if you don't want that, I'll grab it to uh, uh, use whenever I learn water skills. What the uh, skill water book? Yeah, you can take the skill book. All right. Sigurd's beard was a oh, hey, picking up the staff triggered. Yeah, it looks like there's a talky talky bit. Yeah. Hang on, but first identify. Silencing sturdy elven air wand of the savant. 4981 air damage, 2 perception, 1 leadership, 25% chance to set muted status for 2 turns. Allows you to summon air elemental, 3 uses. That's pretty good. Pretty good. It's to pretty, take a look and compare it, it to its, it's other in things. your inventory. Excellent. Let's see. Just... Gloves are downgrade to me. Uh, I lose 4 armor and 68 or 60 health, but you may want them for uh, the pickpocketing and blacksmithing skill. Okay. So I'll give them to you. Unidentified iron belt. I have a feeling this is going to be Medora's, if it's any good. Let's see. 15% poison resist. One lockpick, one craft, one body building. That's a little disappointing, considering it's a legendary item. I'll still compare it to what Medora has. And I don't think it's all that great, but I'll maybe you want it for the crafting skill? Uh yes, crafting, definitely. And I have a feeling the crossbow is just gonna be vendor trash. Because I don't have the skills for it. That is a very sexy crossbow. Okay. I would say go ahead and light up the uh, poison. Well, I picked up the staff and it started a conversation. Oh. So I uh, just am sitting here waiting. Well, I can't listen in, I don't think. 
Uh, what are you talking to? The staff? Or? Uh, the st- yeah, the staff. It's the other elements inside the staff, the summer and fall and spring. I assume summer. Yeah, you're the, gonna have the, to read it off because I can't uh, uh, listen in. Okay. The dialogue says, Ho, hero, tis I, the summer king. Holy do I. Hey. Hey, quit shoving. Knock it off, will you? I'm trying to. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'll let it play through and then I'll read it. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, segments in this game that, even though it's a co op game, only one player gets to hear it, which is annoying. Yeah. Usually it happens to me, though, because you start most of the dialogues. Well, I'm right. the leader. Out of the way, it's Lauren's turn. Well, I thought the day had never come. Thanks for giving old Carrot Face the Great Melt. We in the Earth Kingdom owe you a tremendous... What? Well, you'll have to wait your turn. Oh, for the love of all that's igneous, go ahead then if it'll <laughs> stop your howling. Excuse me, but I've got to say my piece. I won't last another minute in this uncouth company. My left side's burnt to a crisp and my right reeks of moss. Remind me once more, who are you? I'll answer that. We are the sovereigns of the season, kind hero, and we thank you for saving us from our rather deranged brother, the one-time king of winter. I am Saw of the Summer Kingdom, and these are my siblings, Mista of Spring and Lauren of Autumn. Dialogue. How do I break you out of the staff? Well, you t- uh, grab it in one hand, in the other, and you bring up your leg and crack it over your knee. Right? Absolutely. Well, we already know where that is. We overheard a crafty little imp named Zizek tell Boris that the staff can only be destroyed where it was created, the Elemental Forge. He seemed to imply that the forge was somewhere in Hyberheim itself, but I know not its exact location. But you must hurry. I can feel my breezes stagnating within this tiny prison, and Mr. Hothead here has turned this place into a sauna. (laughs) Better the crackle of embers than this idiotic blustering. Cover your ears, hero. Nothing whips up a flame like a wild wind. I'll begin searching for a way to break you free. The elemental forge, hero. It's the only way. There we go. That's all the dialogue. Dancing devil sprats, comrade. A talking staff. Your world is more horrifying than I ever knew. <laughs> I don't know which of the two I love more. I do a quick save in case this is just horribly wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was fun. Well, there's still two uh, patches left. Well, since you just saved, I'm going to try something. Okay. Ooh. What are you trying? Ah. So that's how you're supposed to do it. What? Uh, it looks like, uh, you, uh, the statues gave, uh, some sort of buff. Huh. Because clicking on uh, gives a huge boost to water resistance, at least this one. And I'm assuming the other ones are the same. And the associated skill. So this gives a bunch of water skill. Fancy. 
and there's a door over here to I'm assuming the vault remember we uh, talked about the vault oh uh, yeah yeah oh, we just saved so we should be good to go into it didn't we need a ring of his or something I think so did he give us the ring already uh no it wasn't in the loot I'm just uh venturing around oh yeah we definitely should have uh, hit those statues in battle that would have been fun oh well we just uh let Bador beat his ass yeah we just we literally brute forced our way to this situation hang on hang on there's a shield here or a shield in the way of the door of the doorway See. Yeah, I'm going through uh, filter completed. Wow, we have a lot of uncompleted stuff. If I recall correctly, there was something about uh, a ring in the uh, in his vault. And looking at the map, there's a long corridor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Safe. So he didn't have it on his body. No. If I recall quickly, uh -huh. you were supposed to get it out of the vault. I wonder if that's what's in that chest. Wait, which chest? Wait. Um, that like room that we teleported to. Oh uh, yeah. I wonder if the the key is in the chest in the lava. No idea. Let's go break out our elemental buddies. All right. Forges all the way up there. Yeah, I'm trying to. Re Actually, how do we get out? Um, oh wait, never. That's way, easy. Way sh uh, waypoint Shrine, uh, Hyperham lava, lava pits. Uh, I was gonna say castle entrance because that's the closest to the forge, or maybe. Oh no, you're right. Lava pits is closer. I was about to say, wait, what? <laughs> I just missed that on the map. Well, that was close. <laughs> yeah. All right, hang on. Let me uh, catch up. Oh, look. There's all the frozen blood for us to fall over a dozen times. Don't you mean for me to fall over a dozen times? I fall over the frozen, frozen blood a lot, too. Right, how about this? You just hand me your pyramid. I can't while I'm falling down. There you go. Sigurd's beard was a fight. I picked up the blue one. All right. All right. Since I'm the one holding the uh, the staff, the staff, I'll probably be the one who triggers it when I walk up to it. Yeah. At least we already did this fight. I like I like the fact that you could just choose to keep it. Mm -hmm. You could never complete this quest, so you could keep it for a while. Uh, 
Ah, kill him! Oh, hang on, listen again. Okay. Oh, he's got... He can trade. What have you got? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. That's uh, my thing. A really nice wand. A ring. Chainmail boots. And an air skill book. Cool. What's the skill book? Uh, but this is no it's a blank skill book. Uh. Strange. You take the guise of a source hunter. But I shall, of course, honor your chosen form. Indeed, I suppose I should have expected that one of your kind would snare our brother. Sword. Wait, does that sound like an insult to you? Because that sounds like an insult to me. What do you Think mean, one is. of my kind? Did dance uncomfortably close to the dark arts. But I suppose the others of we elemental monarchs thought it better not to interfere in the affairs of his realm. No, like fools, we waited for his pride, his hunger for more and ever more power, to pull us from our own seats of safety and into his sordid storm. Oh, my. We, and with us all the subjects of the realm of fairy, do owe you our lives, Source Hunter. If, no, not if, but when, we might be of <laughs> assistance to you in this dimension. Well, good thing we already figured it out, huh? Indeed. Uh, first of all, who are you? King Sewer of the Summer Kingdom of Calvia. Brother, alongside the other elemental <laughs> monarchs, to the unfortunate and insane Boreas. In earlier days, we ruled the four realms of fairy in relative peace, each of us the master of our own kingdom. But something changed in Boreas. He grew darker somehow, more than was typical of his usual melancholy. We worried, yes, but chose not to intervene. Because we are idiots. Boreas was the lord of There's Switzerland. And it was his right to No, if it was Switzerland, then nobody would be able to conquer them. <laughs> True. When our brother called the elemental seats to convene in Hyberheim, we were ecstatic. Boreas seemed again interested in the joint rule of fairy, and upholding the long-established diplomacy of our lands. When we arrived, however, it was not Boreas who greeted us, but a dark figure. A woman with a stare like blackest fire. In her staff, she held a demonic power, the likes of which... In an itty bitty love is space. <laughs> and as we were they were trapped in a Pokeball. Well, see, they just kept hitting B over and over again. <laughs> Source Hunter, it would be my sincerest honor. Take this room and use it to summon me when you're near the witch Oh, yes, please. Yeah, we won't abuse this at all. Extracted from Boreas ice. I'll find a way to make it so. And please don't cook her in the process, because we kind of need her. <laughs> I listened closely when I could to Boreas doings. When oh, someone else wasn't elbowing me. had little contact with our deranged brother after the initial exchange of the staff. From what I could tell, the arrangement was thus. Okay. She gave him us, contained. Alright. And in return, he gave her access to his great star stone and scores of imps oh. he'd invited to oh, Motherheim. After that, the two parted, and I heard little more of the woman. In his fits of madness, Boreas would sometimes bellow abuse about the demon woman. I can only assume he meant the same who trapped us. All right. Well, that's settled then, isn't it? We'd best be on our way then. The spring of Northern Kingdoms won't rule themselves, you know. 
May our paths cross soon, Source Hunter. Ah, our champion has returned. It looks like you can. You oh, you're talking to him. Yeah, I'll, well, I want shopping. To yeah, of course. It would be an honor to assist the soul who dared to slay the king of winter. Yeah, I wanted to take a look at the uh, ring. It's not particularly good, though. I wanted to see if I could get a second ring. <laughs> and I'll appear. All right. I guess this is his uh, little place, and the other two ran off to somewhere else. Yep. So shall we go? Uh, uh, I guess defrosting the white witch will be next time. Looking at the yep. timer. Yep. 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 Shoo. So that means it's time for us to start wrapping up. I believe so. Alrighty. Well, if you want to find my stuff and you're not on my YouTube channel, you can find that by searching for Gaming Psychologist on all my stuff there. If you want to follow me on Twitter, where you can see me tweet about all of the random things that go on. And some of it so. even not political. Indeed, sometimes. You can do that over at JMA4707 on Twitter. And if you want to watch me stream Twitch games every once in a while, you can do so at twitch.tv slash jarthur4707. What about you, buddy? Uh, well, if you're not watching this on my channel, you can find me over at Gaming with Caffeine Rage, where you can find, hopefully, three Let's Play series running. The Sunday Sampler that has all sorts of interesting things, which I have a couple upcoming. At least, well, I guess by this point, it would be... Uh, a couple of interesting things in, in the past because, you know, that's how recording ahead of time works. And the podcast that we both take part in uh, appears on both of our YouTube channels, Fridays at Noon, as well as on its RSS feed. And if you wish to see my name rambling some more for some reason, uh, you can find me over at GamingOCR on the Twitters. And, well, I think we're done here. We'll be Alrighty, then. we'll be defrosting a witch next time, and hopefully she'll be happy to see us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully because, because we hadn't actually thought about that. She may be a little pissed. She might be, but you know we'll figure it out. I guess uh, right now uh, the phrase does hold true though: "Cold as a witch's tit." <laughs> oh, and also, <laughs> uh, bye bye now. Uh, I guess we'll find out next time. <laughs>